For schools, particularly the older ones, this is the only time of year they are carbon neutral. There's no need for air conditioning or heat or any other utility that might produce greenhouse gases. Not so when schools are in. That's when school districts and hospitals and other government agencies are required by law to buy carbon offsets to reduce their carbon footprint. That money, $14 million last year, was paid by the Pacific Carbon Trust to corporations who had taken steps to reduce their carbon footprint. The Taxpayers Federation says it's corporate welfare with the taxpayer footing the bill. Yeah, it really is corporate welfare in the uh, green disguise. You know, they say it's uh, great for the environment, but these companies would have reduced their carbon footprint anyways if it was economical. Uh, it's really not doing anything except allowing the government to put on the bottom of their website, we're a carbon neutral government. The Taxpayers Federation and the head of environment management at SFU, usually on opposite sides, actually agree on this issue. The carbon trust is not working for taxpayers. We should, have, we should be saying, government, please tax us as polluters. Don't tax us as taxpayers supporting schools and hospitals. The problem schools and also hospitals have with this program is they have to pay into the Pacific Carbon Trust buy offsets so that they can pretend to be green, in other words, carbon neutral. But their real problem is it puts their budgets in the red. It means schools were deprived of money they badly needed, so they lobbied the government for changes. Beginning next year, some of that carbon trust money, $5 million, will come back to schools who want to fix their greenhouse gas problems. That leaves $9 million that will still go to the big corporations. It's a carbon card game with taxpayers' money going back and forth. I think pretty well most people thought it was pretty absurd that uh, money from schools and hospitals is making its way to the private sector at a time when uh, we desperately need those funds in the public system. The Vancouver School Board has been the biggest loser in the carbon offset transfer game, giving up close to half a million dollars of their tax money to the carbon reducing companies in forestry, oil and gas and cement. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored.